everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Octio Studio. Today I'm sharing with you the Pick a Stick Challenge ATC Challenge for January 2017. You know, we decided to do the Pick a Stick Challenge face group and uh, challenges and the whole thing for the upcoming year. We did add a couple little things. One of them is a wild card. And what that means is when we pick the 10 sticks, then we pick an additional one and you can use it to replace one of the sticks that you don't like or that you don't have an idea for or you don't have the materials for that one you can replace it with the wild card stick just just like in the game of in a game of cards you have a wild card that can be used for anything this is the same idea so also with our ATC challenge we're using the same wild card stick that we did so um, I am actually going to use the wild card on my ATC today because I didn't like one of the steps. I'm going to replace it. So this ATC is three and a half by two and a half inches and it's cut from heavy watercolor paper, 140 pound watercolor paper. And the first step is to extend a page, which means that you're going to add an additional flap or something onto the page to extend it out. So I, the first thing I did was to, to make a little drawing of a whimsical house. I've been seeing some of these cute little whimsical houses everywhere um, in clay, in drawings, in zentangles, and I have been thinking about what I'm going to do for 2017, and one of the things that um, I am trying to do is travel a lot with my mom. Um, she has been wanting to travel and I've been so busy I haven't been able to go. I've had so many obligations but this year I'm pretty free. Um, I can go pretty much any time now so I'm going to try to do that. So I just I was just thinking about home and travel and and I was talking about it with some other people and how you know people don't like to travel they don't like to go away from home they don't like change they have anxiety about packing and you know all these different things and that's just what was on my mind when I made this <coughs> ATC so I drew a little whimsical home house and then um, I'm doing my extend the page part and I decided to make a little flap to extend the page and then I thought well I can cut my little flap into a white picket fence and have the white picket fence be in front of the house as a little flap that can open and shut. That was my idea. So I was I just used a, a tag that is made out of cardstock that was on my desk <laughs> and um, I cut about the bottom piece of it off to the size that I wanted and then I used an exacto knife to cut out this little white picket fence and I'm attaching it using washi tape and right now this color of this washi tape is my favorite color that I like right now my overall favorite color is never going to change it's always purple but right now I'm really liking this um, I don't know what you want to call it um, light teal <laughs> mint color um, I'm not sure anyway I like it and so that was the washi tape that that was in the basket that I attracted me because of the color and so I decided to use it to attach my little extension onto my page the next step was to add some lace and I got out some lace and I was trying to figure out what am I going to do with this stupid lace I don't want lace on this this doesn't go with my idea at all. <laughs> so I just decided to get rid of that step and instead I will make a pocket, which is the wild card stick this month. So does everybody understand that? It's just it just replaces whatever thing you want to replace it. Just get rid of that step you don't like and replace it. Makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? <laughs> of course some of you are gonna be you're never gonna be satisfied. You're gonna be like, oh we should have ten wild cards and then we could just replace the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's still a challenge, people. It just makes it a little bit easier if you have an option on something that you just couldn't do. You just, for whatever reason, could not do it. So I decided, I've been, there's some things going on in my life that 
are really unpleasant right now. There's another death in the family and it's it's a really bad situation. I don't want to talk about it, but I have been in a really bad place. And so when I'm in a bad place and I if I can even make myself do art, the thing that I like to do is paper painting. Um, it relaxes me. A lot of you think that's crazy because yeah it seems tedious but to me it is so relaxing to just fit little pieces of paper into spaces and glue them down so I wanted to do that because um, I haven't made a video in several days and I haven't made any art in several days and it's just it's something that relaxes me so I decided to go ahead and do some paper piecing but the step was to use a map so I decided to use this um, I think it's torn out of an atlas. Uh, it was given to me by someone else, so I'm not sure exactly where it came from, but it had a lot of different colors. Uh, it had a topographical map that was a lot of browns and golds, and then it had, you know, your regular map um, that had some blues and tans and different colors, and then it had another type of map that had a nice bright um, green and orange on it and some blue. So. I decided to use it for my entire um, paper piecing because this is a tiny, tiny little thing. You know, it's only an ATC, so it's not like I needed that many different colors or that many different papers. So I've decided to use the topographical. That's the one that makes things look like mountains and valleys. It's dark browns. I decided to start out with that one. After I did my background with just the neutral uh, text looking paper, um, it had, had uh, what do you call that, an index? Lists and lists of things. And I used that for my background to just kind of be a neutral background. And then I'm using the topographical map, topographical map to do my hills. Um, the house is sitting on a couple rolling hills with a little valley in between. So. The way that I'm doing this, you guys have seen me do this, but in case somebody's new to the channel, I use deli paper, which is a translucent, non-shiny, non non-waxy, kind of almost like a, a very thin tissue paper. Um, I know some of you don't have that in your countries, but what it's used for is to wrap sandwiches at, um, or, you know, put inside of the basket when you're serving food. It's it's a food service product that's used a lot in restaurants and I just buy the 12 by 12 size um, from quick wrap on Amazon and I'll put a, li a link down below and I use it for so many things but this is one of the things I use it for is to trace out shapes of my paper painting like if I don't want to try to piece all the pieces inside that little tiny shape then I'll just draw the shape onto the deli paper actually trace it because it's see-through and very thin and then I can put my my collage my glue onto that paper and then cut it out and now I have a little pieced section that I can fill in on my background so I started doing this a while ago on much much larger things but it works great for this teeny tiny thing. I mean, can you imagine trying to tear little pieces and line them up in those teeny tiny spaces? It would be very difficult. So I did it this way instead. So I made my hills, then I made my tree, and of course on the background I just glued it directly onto the card because I can overlap. Once, once I've traced out those extra pieces onto the deli paper, then it's fine for me to overlap the lines on the background with my original um, index looking list paper if that makes sense they it is covering the lines but I already know where the lines are because I've traced them onto my deli paper and I just did that with this with my uh, graphite pencil so easy to do I decided to use this uh, blue lake color which was a big lake on the map 
and I had to find a little bit more of that color around because the lake wasn't big enough to cover the entire house. <laughs> I thought it was going to be and it wasn't, but that's fine. I like the look of collage and I like how it adds so much, you know, like depth because not only are you layering pieces on top of pieces, but the paper that you use is important and this this paper adds interest to the images because it has all this printing on it because it's a map. So it's got lines, it's got words, it's got different colors and it really adds dimension to what you're doing. It's it's um I don't know. I've I've used maps on things before but never used the map as the only paper that I've used. If you know what I mean. Um, my roof, I used some of that yellow on the back side on the other page um, to make my yellow roof and then I used what little bit of orange I had to make this little uh, wonky um, eave or uh, bottom of, you know, bottom of the, where the roof and the house meet. What's that called? Trim? <laughs> I mean, sometimes you paint it white and call it trim. I don't know. That piece, I made it like a wiggly Thing. It's the house is definitely whimsical. Um, not going to see a, kind, a house like this with all these odd shapes, although there is one that's uh, somewhere I've seen pictures of it where they really did make a lot of odd lines and and curves and things. There's probably more than one. It can be done, but it's not a common thing to see. Mostly houses are very um, angular and straight with 90 degree angles, <laughs> no curves and wobbly bits. So I'm just continuing to make things to put on. This is the, the gr I use this uh, green color for the door and then there's a little yellow um, overhang over the door that protects the door from the elements, like a porch kind of sort of thing, porch cover. And there's one square window and one round window so that the light can come in to the house. And I just keep fussing with it, you know, until I get all my pieces on. So if you guys think you want to try a challenge like this or the art journaling one that has 10 steps, come on over to our Facebook group. I'll put a link below to the pick a stick challenge. We're, um, I think we have like 800 people or 750 people now in the group and we're seeing some really great art come through people do the challenge and then they take pictures or make videos and share in our group so you can see what other people are doing and every single person makes something unique it's never the same as anyone else's everyone has their own ideas and with something like this it's it's really highlights how different everyone thinks and it's fascinating and interesting. I decided to use a black pen to go um, outline some of my drawing and I'm using two different size pens. These are my pens that I use for illustration. They are made by Fabric Castell and they're pit pens which is a permanent ink once it's dry. But of course it has that few seconds that you can smear if you want. I'm going to use some other pit pins that are um, brush pins. But these are my illustration ones where I'm drawing around the lines of everything so that they come to the foreground. And then I'll use the brush tip ones to do a little bit of shading and uh, coloring. Well, not really coloring, just shading. There's that color I'm talking about, that uh, minty light teal color that I'm sort of obsessed with right now. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, it's a cool color. It's kind of the color of an iceberg or something. So I guess maybe it does qualify as a winter color. Um, I don't know. I used it to kind of shadow and then blend into the background to color in my sky. And that coordinates, of course, with that piece of washi tape that's on there. And then for my white picket fence, we all know that white is not white. It's actually a combination of light and dark grays, basically, sometimes blues and browns, tans. So I use that taupe color brush 
pen to make shadows and in, into the the uh, fence so that it looks more like a fence give it a little bit of depth then I'm using some archival ink to go around the edges to darken up the edges I used a watering can and also this uh, verdigris color which is kind of the color I'm into right now again <laughs> I went around the edges of the ATC and the little tag that I'm gonna add to the composition in a bit with that color and as I was getting down that ink I bumped the camera so sorry about that <laughs> then I'm adding some more shadows with my taupe pin this one is probably the most useful pin of all the ones that I have in this big case um, artist pit pins they are the India ink so I can smear it a little bit and they just do this one does great with adding a lit just a little bit of shadow nothing that's like screams in your face that oh here I'm a shadow but yet it's there and it adds depth and interest and then of course I've got my white Posca pen and I'm just adding a few scribbly highlights like I do you know I like to do that a lot that's a fine tip Posca pen I'll put the links to the materials I used below and most of the links will go to Amazon because that's where I buy everything <laughs> so um, you can use those if you want to I'm also an Amazon affiliate now so if you do use my link I will get a really ridiculously small percent of your purchase <laughs> because apparently I'm advertising but what I'm really telling you is I buy everything on Amazon and it's true you should see the Christmas uh, we just got the bill <laughs> for the, all the Christmas presents I ordered on Amazon and I have to go through that and uh, we like to keep track of everything so I like to go through and mark everything and make sure that there wasn't any accidents there never is Amazon's a good company but you always still have to check so then for my uh, little this this is the excess of that that bookmark looking tag that I had that I made the fence out of I cut the bottom of it I cut the sides down and just kept the hole at the top and the little one little uh, arch at the top and made kind of a small tag and then I collaged on some map onto it as well and now I'm writing my words they say travel learn come home because that's what I plan to do this year and I think I'm gonna gonna um, put this ATC in my my year 2017 journal on uh, one of my pages I'm gonna put this little ATC in there because that's what I was thinking about I was thinking about the year thinking about what I'm going to be doing where I'm going to be going and so I think it's appropriate to put it in that that journal which is going to end up being an art journal that has some other stuff in it like I'm not sure I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing I need to do some more of it because I'm behind already <laughs> Uh, if you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up um, comment so I know you were here someone wrote the other day I think it was Linda wrote I was here <laughs> that's perfect that means I know you were here we had an interaction and YouTube likes that because they know that that people are watching my videos and I like it because I know you were here so if you have the time just uh, do that and I'm gonna be finishing up by putting this little tag in the pocket that I created with attaching the fence on the other side with some more washi tape and of course I put a little turquoise ribbon in there to match and that's it for me thanks bye bye